unaware that the real Dr. Tymac has fled for safety to the moon, Brick and Sandy arrive at his secluded lodge to help him guard his precious secret. There, Ladrum, posing as Tymac, sets a deadly trap for them and... I'll uh, give you only a short demonstration. The machine is as yet imperfect. Active rays? Of course not. It's this machine that's uncontrollable, dangerous. Does this machine have any connection with the atomic defense you're perfecting? Uh, yes, it does, very definitely. Well, if uh, I'm to be of any help to you, uh, don't you think you should explain it to me? Certainly. I'll be glad to. Well, suppose we start right now. No, no, I'm afraid not. You see, there are some adjustments I must make. This evening at dinner, we'll discuss it fully. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. strikes me as like one of those scientists with a pet theory who wouldn't hesitate to blow up the whole world just to prove it. After what just happened, I think you're right. What next? Go back to camp and bring Professor Salisbury back here. I want his opinion of our scientific friend. Well, I better bring June, too. We can't leave her alone. Oh, of course. I hide the station wagon and all the equipment so nobody can find it. After I hide him, we'll be lucky to find him ourselves. Good. Get going. Are you leaving? Uh, he's just going to check up on the rest of our party. Of course. I hope you'll invite them here. Well, I'll bring him back with me. Is there anything I can do to help you around the lab, Doctor? No, I think not. I have a few computations to work on while you await your friend. Uh, make yourself at home. You'll find refreshments in the kitchen. No, thanks. Isn't it strange that your assistants haven't returned yet, Doctor? No, it's quite a long journey to the trading post where they went to pick up food supplies. Oh, I thought they went after minerals of some kind. Well, uh, yeah, so they have, but they were to do that after they picked up the supplies. That's why they haven't returned yet. I see. Uh, is this a picture of your associates, Doctor? Yes, they're all renowned scientists. I see they uh, left you out of the picture. Yeah, it's quite natural. You see, I took the picture. Uh, what's the apparatus in the background? That's an electrical thermal unit used for measuring temperatures up to 25,000 degrees. That's a lot of heat. I predict we'll attain temperatures that high in the not too distant future. And I also predict that the assistant at the left will one day be the world's outstanding authority on atomic power, Lewis Walther. Remember that name. I will. You made up your mind to talk yet, Walther? I've told you the truth, gentlemen. Dr. Tymac is on the moon, the far side, which nobody has ever seen. He's still trying to make fools out of us. Nobody could live there. I think they need a little more persuasion. has orders to carry it out. I have stated before, I know nothing of these exiles. We would expect you to deny it. You're not one of our lunar people? 
I have explained. I am from the planet Earth. You at least have given the most fantastic excuse ever heard from an exile. May I ask for an explanation of what you call exiles? They're the renegades who are driven out of lunar land because of treachery and will forever be confined to the wastelands. I've had enough amusement. Here you are sentenced to exile. You're condemned to die. First, you're to be shown the execution chamber so that you will know the manner of your death. Let us finish with this, Zuntar. Take the exile now. something that could be put to good use instead of destruction. You talk like your exiled chief, Preston. I know of no such man. It is he who discovered the method of attaining absolute zero. It is we who make use of it. But only to destroy. In a few moments, you'll enter that chamber. Within 30 seconds, you'll be frozen and remain forever in a state of suspended animation. I will see that she is informed. You have the privilege of entering the chamber yourself. There is no appeal I can make? None. who has been condemned to die. You called me for that. The affair is over, ended. But your majesty, there's proof here that the man speaks the truth. What truth do you mean? It is certain that he has come from the planet Earth. And why is it certain? It may seem fantastic, your majesty, but from all the radio data we have collected of the Earth planet, this man's effects prove that he has come from there. I will examine these effects. Akbar, order the execution stop and have this man brought to me. Alive. This I give to you. Put it to your ear. Into the chamber with him. this man returned to her for further questioning. Why? It's not for me to question the royal command. Very well, return him. Sandy. Hmm? Do you think it's safe for Brick and Father to be in the laboratory after what happened to you? Oh, don't worry. Brick can handle things. Dr. Timex struck me as being a rather harmless sort of person. You never know what goes on upstairs with those scientists. This is a complete miniature electric furnace, furnishing 3,000 degrees of heat. Does it include a pressure chamber, Doctor? Indeed, it does. 
were able to vaporize and use most of the common elements in their vaporized state. Uh, now, if you'll step over here. This apparatus works very much like the cyclotron. And you're able to chart the activity of neutrons and protons? Oh, more than that. We can register the activity of alpha particles. Here, let me show you. I'm uh, sure we'll keep it under control this time. I hope so. You see, all three show in the atom fission. Hmm, it's tremendously interesting. But what is the source of your alpha particles? Helium, naturally. The common source, since we know of its activity about the sun. And now, I have something else to show you. If you'll uh, pardon me while I get some equipment. scientist there's no doubt of that maybe my suspicions are wrong and maybe you're right he doesn't look like dr time right? would you say he was 70 years old he couldn't be years ago i saw a picture of dr time he was 50 then i have an idea that might trip him a man usually answers to his first name doesn't he certainly watch gregor Dr. Timak. I'll let you two graybeards carry on while I join my friends. Where are our future scientists to come from? Our work seems to bore the younger generation. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time to see at work, Doctor. I hope so. The professor and I will get to our work. Doctor has some tricks he wants to show off. We feel sure that the doctor isn't Dr. Timak. Yeah? What makes you think so? I'll tell you later. Right now I have a job for you, Sandy. Good. What is it? You go outside, waylay the first one of the doctor's assistants who shows up. And I use whatever means you want to, but get the truth out of him. Persuasion of force. That's my department. Well, you're on your own, and this is important. Don't worry, I'll find out who our bogus doctor is. Isn't there something I can do? Yes. You act as though you think Dr. Timak is wonderful. He mustn't suspect anything. These long hairs seem to have a one-track mind. The first time I've seen you fail, Treat. Well, we haven't failed yet. There'll be another session as soon as they have time to think it over. You don't know the truth when you hear it. We will. Laidman's waiting for us to report. I'll see him and be back. Tell him these two can't hold out much longer. And I hope you're right. We're dealing with a bunch of crackpots. I'll see you later. You better come outside and stand guard. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same question. I'm Dr. Timak's assistant. Oh? Where's Dr. Timak? The lodge, of course. I mean the real Dr. Timak. What are you getting at? Look, you're going to do a little straight talking for a change. should have turned up by this time. I think I better check with Sandy. Do you think Father will be all right in there with Dr. Timak? Of course he will. Timak is a bogus. He's not going to give himself away.
see how Ladrin's doing. He may need help. Has that Walter party spilled anything yet? Not yet, but he will. Creed's really working him over now. sudden move of Timax assistance. What will happen to June and her father? Don't fail to see Prisoners of the Moon, the third thrill-packed chapter of Rick Bradford at this theater next week.